another session on algebra. In this case, we're going to be dealing with inequalities. And as you can see up here in the right corner, there's all kinds of different types of problems you may run into. Linear, quadratic, polynomial inequalities, rational, linear in two variables, and system of inequalities. So we'll attack these one at a time. And we'll start with linear equalities. And I have a few examples ready to go and one up here ready to go. So how do you deal with inequalities? Well, typically they're looking for a set of values, not a single answer, but a set of values for x that will make this a true statement. So what value for x can I plug in there so that if I subtract 3 from it, it's less than 5? Well, the best way to do that is to first isolate the x. So just like with an equation, we're going to move everything else to the other side, in this case, a minus 3. So this becomes x is less than 5 plus 3. Then, of course, we combine the 5 and the 3, so we get x is less than 8. And then the best way to figure out what the proper values are for that, and of course, in this case, it's very easy, just you're looking for just a value where x has to be smaller than 8. But just to illustrate it, we're going to put this solution on a number line. So we draw the number line, we find the value of 0 on the number line. In this case, you're looking for the critical point to make the decision as to what is a valid solution by writing the equivalent equation where instead of the inequality sign x is less than 8 you write x is equal to 8 and you graph that point on the number line so in this case we look for the number 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there we go since 8 is not part of the solution because you're only looking for values less than 8 you draw a circle an open circle for that value where x is equal to 8 and now you realize that all the values to the left of that number smaller than 8 will satisfy that inequality so then you draw a solid line like so representing all the numbers to the left of 8 with an arrow and this then graphically represents a solution to that inequality I'm looking for all values less than 8 or to the left of the number 8 Another way you can write that is by using a system of parentheses and brackets. Parentheses mean that it does not include the number. A bracket means that it includes the nth number. And with an arrow to the left, like so, here's the number 0, there's the number 8. So different ways of writing the exact same solution. You're looking for all values for x less than 8 will satisfy that inequality. All right, that was simple. Let's try a few more. Let's try this one right here. So here we have x is or x plus 4 greater than or equal to the number 3. Again, you want all the values to be on one side, x to be on the other side. So x is greater than or equal to 3 minus 4. Remember, just like with a, an equation, when you bring anything across the inequality sign, the sign changes. You now subtract the 4 from 3, so you get x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And now we're ready to graph the solution. You draw the number line, you find the number 0. Then you rewrite this inequality as if it was an equation replacing the inequality sign with an equal sign. So you have x is equal to negative 1. This here is what we would call the critical point of the solution, the point where we can decide what part of the number line is the correct solution. So look for negative 1. Since it includes the equal sign, meaning negative 1 is part of the solution, we can draw a solid circle there that in indicates that that number is included in the solution. And now we know that any number greater than that is also part of the solution. So we draw an arrow to the right, kind of solid up the line, like so. And this graphically represents that all the numbers greater than negative 1 are part of the solution to this inequality. Or, if you like the parentheses and brackets, we can go like this, this is negative 1, this is 0, and all the numbers to the right of the negative 1 is part of the solution, including negative 1 in this case. All right, uh, another example. We have 5x minus 4 less than or equal to 3x plus 2. Just like before, we want x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. So we move the 3x across this way, the minus 4 across this way. Remember, just like with an equation, when you cross the inequality sign, the sign changes. So we get 5x minus 3x. 
less than or equal to 2 and the negative 4 becomes a plus 4. Combine like terms on both sides, so 5x minus 3x is 2x, less than or equal to 6, and now we divide both sides of the inequality by the coefficient in front of x, just like with an equation, so that cancels out, and we have x is less than or equal to uh, 3, and then we go ahead and grab the solution, here's the number line, here's the number 0, then we write the equivalent equation, x is equal to 3, replace the inequality sign with an inequal sign. This is the critical point of our solution, so we find the number 3 on our number line, there it is. Since it includes the equal sign, so it's less than or equal to, that means the number itself is also part of the solution, and now we're looking for all values equal to that number or less than that number, and so that means everything to the left of the number 3 on the number line, including the number 3, which is the solution to this inequality. And as a last example, because I want to show you one more thing, so we have minus 3x plus 4 is greater than 5. Again, I want to isolate the x on one side, so I'll bring the 4 across to the other side. We get minus 3x is greater than 5 minus 4. Remember that the sign changes when you move the uh, uh, the number across the equality sign, collect common terms, 3x is greater than 1, and now you divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the x, but in this case, that means we have to divide both sides by negative 3, and when we divide an inequality like this by a negative number, you actually have to flip the inequality sign over, so that means that this is the same thing as writing, minus 3x is less than 1 if it's divided by a negative number. So notice how the inequality sign changes. The negative 3's cancel out now, and so we end up with a positive x is less than negative 1 third, and then we can go ahead and grab that solution graphically on the number line. Here's a number line, here's the number 0, here's the number minus 1 third. If I draw the equivalent equation, by replacing the inequality by an equal sign, we get x is equal to minus one-third. This is the critical point of our solution. So right here, notice that there's no equal sign attached to inequality, which means we do not include that point. So we draw a circle around it. You can do a dashed circle or a hollow circle like that. It's fine. And now we're looking for all numbers that are less than that, which means to the left. So we draw that a little bit more solid with an arrow, so all the numbers to the left is minus one-third on the number line are the solution to this inequality.